show me a video on YouTube how to make crambule at home. Hello everybody, today I wanted to show you guys how to create your own virtual assistant such as like Siri or uh, we also have Alexa out there so you can build your own. So I'll be starting with a couple of the basics and I'll also be making more tutorials after this on more things you can do with it. So uh, let's get right into it. So the first things we want to do is we want to install a couple of dependencies and I'll just put them up here for you. So the first one we're going to run is pip install, make sure you're doing this in your terminal, okay? I'm just using PyCharm. And I'm gonna say speech recognition and make sure that your capitalization matches all that. Hit enter, okay? And this should be downloading, okay? So depending on your internet speed, uh, this might take a minute or two. Okay, I sped this video up so that I can end that, but yeah, that took about a minute, minute and a half for me, okay? Um, so speech recognition will give us the proper functions that we need to record our audio through a microphone source, and then it will send it to Google, and it will analyze our audio, and it will transform it into text, and we will return that text, and we can now do whatever we want with that text, okay? So that's what speech recognition will do. So that's done. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, pip install Pi Audio, and you'll need this if you want to use uh, your external microphone as a source, okay? So you're going to say pip install Pi Audio, hit enter, and that went uh, pretty quickly, okay? And then the next thing that we're going to do is pip install Pi what kit. Uh, PyWit WhatKit is a pretty cool source. You can do lots of things there, um, but it's got some functions such as we can just put in some text into a function and it will p uh, put it into a Google search for us, or we can even have it pull up a YouTube video for us specifically. Um, so we're going to use some of that in our program today. Okay, and once you don't see any errors um, and you see your name right here, then that means everything has been installed correctly. Okay, so I'll just leave this up here so that you can copy that down in case you need to refer to it at all. But let's go ahead and uh, get started. So first I want to uh, import my uh, speech recognition. So I'm going to say import uh, speech, uh, sorry, speech recognition, so that's just going to be speech underscore recognition, and that is a long word, so a lot of people will just say as sr, okay, so we don't have to type out speech recognition, and now we will import our Pi audio, so let's get into this first part. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to create some kind of function to uh, take my voice and to record it and to send it to Google for me. So I'm going to create a function called def get audio. And it's just going to be an anonymous function. And I'm going to set a variable to recorder. And this is simply going to uh, take the recognizer function out of the speech recognition. So I'm going to say sr dot recognizer. And that's a function. Now I'm going to let the code know that with my source, uh, with my microphone specifically, I want you to record. So I'm going to say with sr.microphone, and that's a function, as my source, I want to let the user know that, hey, it's time to say something. So I'm going to say something like print, say something, dot, 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 dot. So now the user knows it's time to say something. And while the person is saying something, we will now record it. So I'm going to, whatever I'm recording, I'm going to store it inside of audio. And I'm going to say recorder.listen. Okay. 
And where do we want it to listen from? We want it to listen from our source, okay? And what's our source? Well, if you look up here, our source is our microphone. And I spelled source wrong up here. I apologize for that. Okay, so that's our source. Cool. So this will record it. And now what I want to do is I want to come out of this scope and I want to send this audio to Google and store it inside of a variable called text. Okay, so I'm going to say recorder dot recognize recognize Google and send it my audio. Okay. And now I have what Google analyzed stored inside of my text here. So now I can just print um, you said, I'll just use string interpolation text and I'll put the F for format. Okay. Okay. Um, so that will print what I said and I'll also return the text. Okay. So now if I try to run this, I can just say get audio. Okay. And because I'm using a return statement, well, that should be fine. Uh, get audio will still print this. So let's see if this is working so far. Hello. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. And now it says, hello, can you hear me? Testing, testing. So you can see that worked just fine. Well, now that we have this inside of uh, our program, we had it all stored inside of text, and this is just a string, okay? So now you can do whatever you'd like with it. So if you've seen my previous videos of doing like a bad word filter, now you can put your bad word filter program inside of here. You can grab that text and you can run it through your bad word filter. So if you have some choice words in there, it can filter it out um, and it will put in the asterisks or some random symbols in there if it finds a bad word or something, uh, or you can have it do other commands, okay? And in our case, I wanted to show you guys how to use the PyWhat kit and that's gonna be really fun, okay? So let's get into the PyWhat kit and I need to come back up here and import it. So import PyWhat kit so that we can do something fun with this. So now that I know this function is working, let's actually store the value of this function, which will just be text when it returns it, okay? So I'm gonna store this inside of text. So text will become text down here, okay? So now let's say that I have some uh, maybe it's just some text that I want to send to YouTube. So this is something that PyWhatKit can do. So I can say PyWhatKit dot play on YT. Of course, that stands for YouTube. So play on YouTube. And this will just take a string. So I can just say uh, salty killer how to code in Python, for example. Okay. And so if I run that, you can see what happens. Oh, and I did an S right here. So let's take that out. Now let's run it, see if it works. And now you can see that it takes me straight to YouTube and here's my channel, okay? So that works really nicely. So now I can actually store my text that I got from my get audio and store it inside of here instead, which is really cool. So I'll store my text and now let's test this out how to create Crambulay. Okay, so now you can see that my uh, virtual assistant had just brought up how to create Crambulay just on YouTube specifically, uh, instead of doing it in Google, okay? Now, if I wanted to pull it from Google, I can do that. So let's pull up that function. So it would just be a simple pi what kit. dot search okay and that will also take text so now if i did that it will search google how to make crambulay okay so it took my text and it brought it up on google which is really cool so what do i want to do if i want to tell my virtual assistant to bring it up on YouTube or to bring it on a Google search. 
Well, I can simply break that up into some simple conditionals. So I can just say, if YouTube is in my text, and it might try to capitalize some of my text, so I'm just going to say dot lower, okay? So if that's the case, then what I want it to do is I want it to do pywhatkit.play on YouTube, send it that text, okay? Otherwise, if I don't say YouTube in my text at all, then I'll just have it search on Google instead. Okay, so let's test these out. So first I'm going to test it for YouTube. So if I say the words YouTube somewhere in my text, then it should pull up on YouTube instead. So let's test this. Show me how to create Crambulay YouTube. Okay, now you can see that it brought up a video on how to create Crambulay, okay? And now if I run it, um, I did say YouTube, so that's why it brought up a YouTube channel. Now if I do it without saying YouTube, how to make Crambulay. Now it'll bring it up on Google because I never said the word YouTube. So you can do that with lots of different functions. If you wanna bring up iMessages, if you're on a Mac, or if you wanna bring up um, some other application on your computer, you can do that. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in part two. And I'll also be showing you in part two how to create sound feedback, such as Siri with that sound, or how to have your program talk back to you. Okay, so if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you are notified whenever I come up with these new videos for you. And if you do have any requests on a tutorial that you would like me to share, then please let me know down in the comments. I do like to create videos that only you are interested in, so please let me know what you would like to see. Thank you so much, have a great day, and happy coding. I'm not going to be able to do that.